Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we have got BK versus MN. Um, seeing some different strats here. Let's take a look over here at the side of A and D and see what they're bringing. So for A and D, we have got Gearing, Harugamo, Ragnar, Kleber, Des Moines, Des Moines, and you guessed it, Des Moines. Along with the Ohio and the St. Vincent, ladies and gentlemen. On the side of BK, we've got Gearing, Yu Yang. Oh, that's the bot. I was like, wait, did we have another BFK instant? No, that's the bot. Okay. Uh, Des Moines, Des Moines, Napoli, Stalingrad, and Double Ohio. But because we practice it. So now we're going to watch and see how these people uh, break it out of here. Um, we saw a large push from the last set of teams to play up through the gap between B and C, but I'm interested to see what changes for this time. Now, as we go in here, um, looks like, okay, Yu Yang Gearing going up towards B. Looks like Des Moines, Ohio going that way a little bit as well. Ragnar Kleber both speed boosting. They want to get towards C, and I feel like that's because they want to do a DD catch and uh, smash. You take the Ragnar with the Ragnar's ability to detect ra with radar. You take the Kleber, and you have the firepower, and you just murder whatever DD shows up there. Harugamo's about to start smoking up the Des Moines. They're going to put the Des Moines onto the edge of that island right here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and you can see there's the pop from the Harugamo. So yeah, the Harugamo's going to smoke the Des Moines to here. Des Moines going to use that and its radar to try to detect and kill DDs. Aggressive line I really do like from the Ragnar towards C. Looks like a hard push from uh, BK over to C. Now, remember... You do have a bot gearing Duquesne. He is the highest level of AI um, that is available in World of Warships because that's always the rule. But he has been spotted and now he's going to hit that smoke and try to turn out. If they manage to bait Des Moines radar for a bot, that could be good. I mean, ooh, that's a painful chunk there. There's the radar down to 11,000. Shots do hit sun. That's not bad. Uh, Des Moines is spotted. Do they have anything in position to punish? The problem is the Ohio is... Neither Ohio can punish right now. And so the gearing is in a world of hurt. And the Des Moines trying to get up there and finish him. Des Moines still has radar for a bit. The gearing's down to 3,000. Remember, he can't maneuver because he doesn't have captain skills. So no last stand. Down to 900. Down to 400. And looks like these shots should kill. And the early lead, of course, will go to the side of A and D. Duquesne of Gearing is knocked out. Bot killed off. And now the Yu Yang of Pirate Bay is spotted. And Sun and Mother of Dragon want to murder him. Yu Yang's going to get out of the detection quickly enough. He takes about 5,000 damage. 6,000 now. Uh, no DCP, remember. So, Or, sorry, pardon me. No heal, remember. So he's taking the damage and he's going to have to stick with the damage. Ooh, Des Moines takes a big chunk, and that's what you got to be careful of when you get that absolute wall up. There's a reason St. Vincent's limited. Um, Kleber is trying to farm that Des Moines, sitting there saying, hey, until you start shooting at me, I might as well just sit here. Um, Kleber looks like he's going to start backing away now. Des Moines still sitting pretty on 43,000 health. Watch out, Ohio shots coming across the map here onto Mr. Sarkane. Sarkane is, oh no, pardon me. They want uh, long a lot. Down to 38,000. Has not used the healer to DCP yet. Here comes another big chunk and a massive hit from the St. Vincent, ladies and gentlemen. A massive hit from the St. Vincent. That Des Moines backing up. He's popped the heal. He's popped the DCP. If he gets set on fire here, this is going to be really brutal, especially if the St. Vincent gets one more. They are getting good damage on the Ragnar, though. Very good damage. There's the fire. Uh, and watch out. Here comes possibly the death knell. This will be really rough if Langelot dies right here. 
Langlot. Oh, and he gets lucky. Only takes 2,000 from that. Now, the shots are onto him, and he is burning. He's going to burn for a while. But decent damage onto the Ragnar. Oh, and the gearing. While we were busy not paying attention over here, looks like the gearing got stuck on the edge. No, he didn't get quite stuck on the edge of the island, but he was in smoke. He got radar, and he got burned out. And A and D is up. Two ships to none. And 300 points. Now... BK does have the only cap right now, so they've got that points lead closing for the moment. 2C fighting Desert Fox right now. Des Moines fighting Annapolis is always interesting to watch to see who wins that fight. You would usually bet on the Napoli, but there are some pretty nasty Des Moines players that can do work. Des Moines of Fragment also spotted. He's down to 8,000. Here come the shells from the St. Vincent, down to 6,500. He does have a DCP ready if he gets set on fire. He's trying to heal, but they want him, and they want him bad as Sarkane pushes up. 7,000, there's the fire. He has not hit the DCP yet, ladies and gentlemen. He hits the DCP, down to 4,000. Here come shots from across the map from the other Ohio. Fragment, long-range shots just missed, but it doesn't matter. Fragment's down to 300 health, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he got dark, though. He gets dark, and he's going to live for just the... Oh, they spot him again very briefly, but nobody had shots. 300 health. And that St. Vincent... You can see why the St. Vincent's been limited. It just does absolute work on everything it fights. Full salvo out here at the Ohio. Ohio's going to slow down. He's going to take one torp, and no citadels. He is lucky. The Napoli of Desert Fox dies off. We were keeping an eye on the corner there. Napoli of Desert Fox dies off. The Des Moines got way better of him, especially with the gearing's help there. Uh, Sarkane in the Ohio down to 35,000. Now the Des Moines of Langlot pushing up, but he's got Bogdan on his flank, and he's trying to get the Kleber of Mother of Dragon. He's got him down to 2,500. There's no DCP. It looks like we're going to see BK's first kill happen right here. Kleber down to 1322. He is somehow dodging these shots. Down to 300 health. Down and he's burning and he's going to burn out, ladies and gentlemen. He gets a couple more shots off. He gets the torps off on the Des Moines. They found the Des Moines of Fragment. Fragment down to 2000 now. He is healing. Here come shots from the Ohio. Torps on to the Des Moines. They will hit. The Ohio of Sarkane died. And oh my goodness, there's so much death everywhere right now. St. Vincent of Necro is going to go down here to a drive-by from the Stalingrad if he's not very careful. Des Moines of Fragment still alive somehow, but it is a 5-1 to one ship advantage for the side of A&D. And, and even if you lose your St. Vincent here, which you're going to do, the sh Torps come in, they finish him off. You got the Stalingrad down to 30,000, DCP forced, and now the Ragnar and Des Moines go to work on him. Two cap to one lead for the side of A and D. They are up and moving into C. Stalingrad of Julius sitting broadside. Mr. Bender shots in. 20,000 health gone in the flash. And Julius pushes forward. But now the Des Moines of Hru is going to absolutely just finish him. And the Stalingrad's already gone. He's got fire on him. There we go. He burns out. Yu Yang spotted briefly. Des Moines of Fragment is there. And then you've got the Ohio sitting down here at 82,000. That will be able to possibly get 2C. But with a 600-point lead almost, it's going to be hard to win. The enemy's victory draws it's going to be very hard to win. Really nice torps from the Yu Yang there on the line. They're going to catch that Ohio. That Ohio takes a big chunk of damage a big chunk of damage he's gonna heal they spot him um they spot the des moines des moines healing up as well but des moines is in a bit of a problem spot and all the shots out on the yu yang yu yang down to ten thousand. here come the Hurugamo shots on the des moines expect to see the ohio and other des moines of bogdan open up on fragment as soon as they can Hurugamo of kms rune just doesn't want to die here dcp popped Harugamo down to 8,900, Yu Yang at 9,400, and there goes a fragment. It is now two ships left and 160 points for the side of BK. Ohio of Dr. Yuke doing some work, trying to get some uh, shots out on that Des Moines, finish him. 
Here comes the shots out on the Des Moines with the front guns. Front guns come in. Oh, and he absolutely just obliterates 2C. 2C down from 30,000 health to 3,000. Ohio's got a little bit of time till the reload. The Yu Ying of Pirate Bay does go down, and it's just down to the Ohio. The Des Moines knows he's going to die. He's just getting as much damage out as he can. And the gearing's just farming down Dr. Uke. So, Dr. Uke, 13 seconds left, ladies and gentlemen. He opens up on the gearing. The gearing is not going to die, and ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be a round one, game one win for the side of A and D. They are the winner, and they take a 1-0 lead, and that is quite the clan logo.